Ecamm fan, what's good? This is Marshall Fox, and I'm gonna show you how to take the color of your video from this to this using the LUT feature in Ecamm Live. So you may be wondering, what the heck is a LUT? A LUT is a lookup table. Without getting too technical, it contains all the information like color, saturation, hue, luminosity, and a bunch of other stuff. It's basically like a color grade for your video. Think about it like an Instagram filter, but for your video. So as you know, in Ecamm, it gives you the option to adjust the picture settings like brightness, temperature, tint, saturation, and gamma. But what a LUT does is it allows you to apply other settings to your video that aren't necessarily available within the picture settings. So what you do is you'll find a LUT, apply the LUT, and you can adjust the intensity to your liking. So let's find some LUTs. So go to Google and just type in LUTs. Let's just click on this one, first one. So cinema grade. So what, what these companies do is they'll, they'll sell packs of LUTs, but it'll give you examples of what they'll look like applied to your video. But keep in mind, you have to consider things like lighting, certain cameras and things of that nature. And a service that I've used in the past is called Envato Elements. So this is a sus subscription based service. So I think it's about 30 bucks a month, but they have tons of things here, video templates, a graphic design asset. So I do graphic design. So I'm always on the site using their resources, but they have LUTs. So you type in LUTs and under add-ons, you'll, you'll see different packs that they have. So for example, let's just click on this one presets and less so make sure you're getting the actual LUTs when you download them and you can see the different options that they have so this looks cool so you have tons of options for where to get them but the problem with most LUTs to be honest is that they're dramatic they're very cinematic and a lot of them are kind of harsh because they're they're really created for cinema. They're created for film, not necessarily live streams, right? So what I've done is I've created a live stream LUT pack. So I'll get to that later. But first, I'm sure you want to know, how do you use it? But before we even get into this next section, I have to give you this disclaimer. It's not as easy as applying a LUT. There are a lot of factors at play when it comes to achieving the right look for your specific needs. Things like lighting, the type of camera that you're using, the lens, and then the settings that are available within the camera. So I'm using the Canon M50, and if you know me, you know I love this camera. And in the M50, they have what are called picture styles. All those are, are adjustments to the actual color in your video before it gets from the camera to the computer. So that's one layer. And then within Ecamm, they have what are called picture settings. So you can adjust those to your liking. So things like brightness, temperature, tint, saturation, and gamma. And they are located under the camera effects. And then the third layer is LUTs. So let's get into how to use them. So in Ecamm, you wanna go over to window and then camera effects. And it'll bring up this panel right here. And then here, you'll see picture settings. So if it's not expanded, go ahead and click this arrow and it will expand your picture settings. So what I like to do is adjust these first. So I have my picture style in the N50 set at neutral just to make this, make this illustration. So I'll adjust these to how I like them. And the good thing is you can really do a lot with these picture settings before you even apply a LUT. But then you'll see right here, it says select LUT. So you may not have known what that what that is. So what I do is I'll I'll go and I have a few that I created today. And I'll select one. So let's let's select the, the first one I made. So as you can see, it's kind of harsh, right? But you can adjust it. And the, the reason I did this and the reason a lot of LUTs are like that is because you can adjust the intensity to exactly how you like it. So they have this slider where you can dial back the intensity. So I'll tend to do a bit of tweaking to the brightness, the temperature, the tint. 
saturation a bit gamma just to find the right look and the good thing is you can switch these up you can switch these up as often as you want so let me go to reset and remove the LUT and I'll select another LUT so I have a black and white one which I think is cool if you want like more of like a a, a vintage super vintage right <laughs> look a different look to your your zoom calls <laughs> adjust the tint of it I think this is cool so yes yeah, remove that and go to warm winter I know this was cool and warm at the same time so I, I named it warm winter so you can dial back the intensity of it it's how you like it see this is without it and this is you know with, with it dialed up a bit just the gamma saturation tint temperature so if you wanted to pick up these LUTs I did create a LUT pack and it will be available at liveluts.com so if you go there I have these on sale for 10 bucks so that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions please reach out to me Marshall Fox um, but other than that that's it. Peace, guys.